toasty day here in central and eastern Kentucky on this Tuesday. Nothing off the charts for this time in August. Still looking at the potential of the heat really cranking up toward the mid and even upper 90s late in the week. And of course, that's going to mean heat index values uh, probably closer to 105 if that uh, plays out. So obviously, you're going to want to use caution really the remainder of the week. We've got two fronts that will bring some much needed relief for the upcoming weekend. A few little scattered clouds earlier, but of course, full sunshine out there. Our Bluegrass Pace Care Sky BHC Camera Network, Richmond EKU, where we're sunny and 90. Note the north wind. Winds have been out of the north and northeast as this boundary kind of snakes through central and eastern Kentucky, and that's trying to push some slightly drier air into the region, really impacting temperatures on the other side of that boundary, mid to upper 80s in the east, right around 90 or so, low 90s, up and down the I-75 corridor, and you can really see where that boundary is located relative to the dew points. Very, very muggy down south. You get on the other side with the northeast wind, 64 the dew point. That's pretty good when it's this hot. So really uh, nothing in the way of a heat index up toward Moorhead, Ashland into northern Kentucky. Feels like 97 here in Lexington, 102 in Somerset, Monticello and London at 98. Farther west in the deeper pink. In fact, you can really kind of pick up with the temperature contour map where it is pretty comfortable and where it is not. You see those heat indices 105 plus. Now up and down I-65, that excessive heat warning has now been replaced by heat advisory for tomorrow as will be short of the excessive heat warning criteria. That will change Thursday and Friday, and I wouldn't be surprised if we didn't see that here in the bluegrass. There's the boundary, which will get a little push from my pressure, so it's actually going to work back to the southwest overnight and then put on the brakes and come back the other way as this low over the upper Midwest head toward, heads toward the Great Lakes. Now, what that means for us is temperatures tomorrow morning will actually be a little cooler than what we had this morning into the upper 60s as opposed to the mid 70s. That will, of course, mean probably low 90s for afternoon highs as we recover. The other element to this, remember the northeast wind all summer long, that brings in some elevated smoke particles. Yeah, it won't be very dense, but it could be enough to filter out the sun and should be to hold us into the lower 90s. Muggy meter stays in the humid category. The moisture pools ahead of that first front and then it takes a dive. So we've got more pleasant air on the way, but getting there could be a little difficult. Not bad with the heat index tomorrow. Thursday and Friday, a different story, especially here in the bluegrass. Notice how we're in between 100 and 105, and that will get us close to that heat advisory range with Friday catching the worst of it. So bigger picture here, the heat dome strengthens, so that's going to allow afternoon highs to run into the upper 90s both Thursday and Friday, 97 and 98. When it gets that hot, it doesn't matter whether it's 90 seven or 101 it's really hot and uh, of course some thunderstorms uh, could fire up as a result at ahead of that first boundary if they do a little bit earlier than anticipated that could have an impact on our afternoon temperatures but 68 so mostly clear not as warm with that northeast wind staying in place and then that front heads the other way tomorrow some more sunshine and heat we will do 93 again the extended forecast here Hottest days coming up Thursday and Friday. And again, two different fronts. We knock about eight degrees off, so still a hot Saturday, although we'll be right around 90. But that next boundary Saturday night, albeit a dry one, that will bring lower humidity levels and much more comfortable air with afternoon highs into the weekend early next week in the low to mid 80s.